an unprecedented wave of natural disasters, a demand for a new approach to building resilience in a changing world. Well, this appears to be either the worst or one of the worst floods Houston has ever had. A Palo Alto startup by former Stanford engineering classmates called One Concern is using artificial intelligence and machine learning to save lives before and after disasters strike. As per initial reports, it's a 7.1 magnitude in uh, Mexico. Within the first 15 minutes after an earthquake, we can predict with a very high accuracy as to whose house will be in what level of damage, which critical infrastructure will be up, so that these first response can go to the right places and save the maximum lives. One Concern's mission to save lives is personal for co-founder Ahmad Wani, who grew up in the deadly earthquake and flood-prone state of Kashmir. Tens of thousands of people lost their lives and I could basically see a lot of destruction all around me. Surprisingly, the well-built modern engineered structures actually were on the ground, and that compelled me to actually think about the science, which, which sort of helps us in um, figuring this out. Co-founder Tim Frank's up close and personal encounter with natural disasters helped him identify what emergency management teams need first to save more lives and property. I've had quite a bit of experience with natural disasters personally, uh, starting back to when I was first on active duty in the Air Force in uh, 2004, uh, working in an emergency operations center and uh, helping coordinate the response for Hurricane Ivan. While at Stanford working on their PhDs in earthquake engineering, Ahmad Wani and Tim Frank were joined by computer scientist and co-founder Nicole Hugh in a class project using earthquake engineering and artificial intelligence to more quickly analyze the effects of the 2014 earthquake in nearby Napa, California. A disaster is a ticking bomb, and so you have a limited amount of time that's actually even shorter than the limited amount of budget you have. It took the, the building inspectors months to go to each building and, you know, take a survey and then put a tag on each building. And well, we get the same output with an 85% accuracy in the first 15 minutes. And if we get a few more data points, then we get up to 93% accuracy in the first two hours. Just wondering about that earthquake we had. Yes, is anyone injured, sir? If not, I have to let you go. We have many 911 calls. We also know that 25,000 911 calls came in. You know, ironically, they didn't all come from the areas that were the most damaged or from the people that needed the most help. So we realized that there was a real problem here. Their initial artificial intelligence and machine learning exercise at Stanford has led to One Concern's platform for emergency managers, heroic first responders, and citizens at risks in San Francisco, Los Angeles, and elsewhere, where people's lives are on the line when disaster strikes. A lot of information which we need is either available through public data sources or some private data sources which we have access to for the United States. We want to understand, of course, how every structure is built, what is the health of the structure, when was it last upgraded. We also want to understand how the natural environment looks like. And since then, we've also developed products to respond to floods and also prepare for floods and mitigate against floods in advance. In the future, we foresee going towards fires, as well as thinking about this global issue of climate change and how it affects and intertwines multiple disasters together. The reality is, is that water is continuing to rise. We were impacted throughout the entire region. We incorporate these climate conditions into uh, a flood module so that now uh, you can kind of track that, hey, say you had a 3% more emission rate in CO2. How does that affect a 100-year flood? Today there was an earthquake in Mexico. Now what if I could tell you that yesterday I could have actually told you which of these buildings would have collapsed. So the ability to actually literally like a cheat sheet and plan ahead of time for those vulnerable populations, for those vulnerable structures and make remedial action would save a lot of lives. Most of the key data they need for their modeling projections and scenario planning is readily available for most disasters around the globe. They are also working on public-private partnerships to make their services more practical for any community that needs them. Every time there is a natural disaster, every time there is a hurricane or every time there's an earthquake, it's a setback for us. We should build fast enough and deploy fast enough 
in order to save maximum lives.